So let's talk about chronic pancreatitis. Chronic pancreatitis is again because repeated episodes of acute pancreatitis can have an irreversible damage to the parenchyma of the pancreas. And sometimes the reasons can still be gallstones or it can be idiopathic. They'll have a gene mutation which can cause these things. And of course, even the alcohol can cause. Patients with chronic pancreatitis will have one of the common symptoms is severe back pain or severe abdominal pain which requires them to lean forwards or bend forwards to have some relief. So these patients either they will have continuous nagging pain which goes for days to weeks together or sometimes once in a couple of weeks they'll have severe pain that lasts for two or three days requiring admissions and uh, injections and settling them down. So one of the main, th again these conditions, we look at the cause for the pancreatitis. It can be gallbladder stone disease, which requires removal of the gallbladder. If it is because of the alcohol, the patient is advised to stop alcohol forever actually. Sometimes we operate on these patients also. When do we do that? Sometimes these patients, the duct will be dilated. There'll be enlargement of the draining path of the pancreas. If it is not dilated, these people do not require surgery. Of course, the pain will still be managed with repeated admissions. If there is a duct which has become enlarged or a widened, there is a big chance there will be some stone formation within the pancreatic duct. So then we need to do a drainage procedure. We need to attach a part of the intestine by slitting open this duct and then making sure the pancreatic juice empties into the intestine directly so that that will relieve them of their pain. Sometimes we may have to remove a part of the pancreas also, like the tail of the pancreas. There are now coming to the conditions other than cancer. Sometimes they can have a small swellings, a cyst of the pancreas, pseudocyst we call it which is a fallout of either acute pancreatitis or a chronic pancreatitis. If they are small in size, it's usually managed medically. And we usually wait for about six to eight weeks for the management. Any cyst which is big enough and uh, which stays for more than eight, eight weeks and not settling down with the medical management, we'll have to do a drainage procedure where we attach a part of the intestine to that one. And there are also conditions where the spleen, which is attached to the, the end of the pancreas, even sometimes there can be tumors arising there. We remove a part of the pancreas and also the spleen there also. So this is coming to the chronic pancreatitis.